We are live. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. 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 Hello, our viewers. Uh, welcome to today's episode. It's a 10th episode of our group that is the Dreamers and the Doers. Yes, for those of you who are first time here today, uh, we are literally a small group of seven members uh, based here in Europe. Yes, from uh, Spain, Italy, uh, Germany, uh, Norway, yes, and uh, Austria. Yes, we have part of a very large group of 155,000 members, a uh, business partners that are based all over the world. Yeah, so uh, we have been having uh, uh, meetings or a uh, let's say kind of interviews uh, or discussions uh, every weekend and uh, discussing different topics uh for those of you who have been following us you notice that uh last weekend we didn't uh show her because you know it was a festive season and everyone must have been busy uh with families and with the festive season yes yeah so today we are back in full force yes we are pumped up and our today's topic is going to be the reasons why we should uh, invest in our personal growth. But before we jump into that, uh, I'm going to introduce myself and I let my business, my fellow business partners introduce themselves. Uh, my name is Clementine Mutono. I am uh, based here in Italy, but I'm originally from Kenya. Yes. So next I go to Michelle. Michelle, please welcome and introduce yourself. Hello everyone, happy Sunday and thank you for hosting the claim. And hello ladies, hello Sherry and May J. So hello everyone who are watching us and this is our eighth episode of The Dreamers and the Doers as Clem said. So I'm Michelle and I am currently living here in Spain for more than 13 years and I am originally from Philippines and I am like this ladies i am also a digital business owner thank you clint uh thank you very much uh next we go to uh sherry hi Clem. Welcome, thank sherry. you yeah hi there i am sherry and i live here in norway i'm a wife and a mom to three beautiful children and a social worker by profession and a proud digital business owner that's all for me back to you clem Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Ray from Norway. Okay, North Europe. Okay, next we have our May J. Hi, thanks, Clem. Um, I'm my name is May J. I am originally from the Philippines too, just like Michelle. And I've been living in Germany for the past 15 years. And I work for a local IT company here in Dusseldorf, Germany. Yeah, and that's basically it back to you uh, okay thank you very much for the brief introduction yes so we are going to jump into the uh, today's our uh, topic yes let me share my banner uh, here's the question the topic reasons why we should invest in our personal growth yeah so what is this our uh, personal growth uh, I can go through my uh, notes uh, to see what is the, uh, this introduction. Uh, investing in our personal growth is the process of taking time and energy to develop our knowledge, skills, and abilities in order to become the best version of ourselves. This could mean taking classes, or reading books or articles, listening to podcasts, attending workshops, that is webinars and seminars, and or even uh, engaging in self-reflection it is important to invest in ourselves because when we do we expand our horizons and open ourselves up to new uh, possibilities in other words it means taking steps to improve our skills knowledge and abilities yeah so i can say there are kind of activities there are different activities that you can do uh, to improve our uh, 
uh, skills. Uh, some of them like um, setting goals and uh, getting feedbacks. And, um, and uh, let me uh, develop relationships and taking risk and changing mindsets. There's so, so many of them. Yeah, so for now, I'm going to invite uh, Michelle so you can share your insights on this uh, topic. Uh, let me. Oh, okay. sorry about that. I just knew because my three dogs was so much barking now. So <laughs> it will disturb you. So the reason why we should invest in our personal God. Well, I think there's so many reasons why we should invest in our God. Besides as Clean uh, said about the personal growth, it's about gaining experience, gaining knowledge, developing more skills and abilities. So we have so many reasons why we want it. We want to be successful. We want to achieve something better in our life. So that's why we need to develop our personal growth. So there's so many aspects of that. About that is the first thing first is you learn. And then through your experience, you can apply this to develop more personal growth. Like we just go for our, um, schools right we finish our studies why because we learn and what we learn we apply we develop our personal growth through learning through experience and the ability also we just have that ability every one of us we have the special skills not only that in that way we develop our personal emotional and physical health right we have that you know what is better for you you want to achieve something about yourself, about your uh, about your future. You want to be successful one day. Then start from where those routine or those things that can help you to to learn knowledge and to gain more experience about it. Like Flame said, read books. Go surround yourself with the positive people. Learn from them. It's also one of the personal growth that you can achieve, right? And also, we have also those things that we wanted is increase our self-confidence, right? We don't be afraid for the fear. If you want a personal growth, there's so many reasons behind that why you invest because of self-improvement, self-awareness. And also, you have that you know how to solve the problem because not all that's the part of our journey that every uh, journey, there's always a roadblock. So you need to know, invest yourself, be persistent and perseverance to doing everything that you wanted to by developing your critical thinking skills. Like you wanted to be become effective problem solver, then you can, right? Learn from it. And also, not only that, we also improve through personal growth. We also improve our relationship with people. We wanted to help people to live a better life. Then we have that good, better communication skills on how to communicate to people on how to understand what other people needs and your needs. When you're sharing it, you know what it's good for you and to lead you a better life, right? So I think that's for me. The success is only depends to the person who those who wanted to because they wanted something about them, learn apply and do it take it in action that's only i can share yeah thank you very much for the share yeah and just to add on top of that you just mentioned uh building relationships yes these relationships are, are important a uh, in a sense that you are helping people but also you should consider these relationships because uh it is more encouraging to be, to create relationships with people who motivate you, who work towards achieving a certain goal, like you are you like the one you are targeting to achieve. Yeah. So thank you very much for your share. So next, let's go to Sherry. Uh, welcome and uh, give us your insights. Yeah, thank you. I think Michelle has said a lot of this on this topic, but let me add to 
Well, I think, you know, as human beings, as we live, we learn, we gain new knowledge, we learn new skills, and doing this, that's how we develop as human beings. I believe that as long as we live, we have to learn, we need to seek knowledge, right? When we develop our personal, uh, our personal um, growth, we become more confident in ourselves, we increase our self-esteem in that way, we are very like we we are in a good position to take risk right a good good one because you have the knowledge you can do your research you can find out on a specific topic why maybe you have to take this course right so when you do that you know where to go and one thing about this uh, personal growth is that when you are uh, able to invest in yourself you have a better understanding of how people think how you relate to people and even improve yourself as a human being. As I said, it increases every aspect of our lives. We tend to have a positive outlook on, on our lives. And it's also important that we surround ourselves with like-minded people. In that way, we share ideas, we develop as human beings, we, we discover new potentials, the potential that's hidden in us that we never knew that we had. So it's very important that as human beings, we always try to learn, update ourselves, right? Find things that will be more engaging, we train our minds. And one thing that I would like to say is that with personal growth, when you're able to gain more knowledge, learn new skills and things, you are better equipped in a, a let's say, in a workplace when you have a new, when you've learned a new skills, you can be able to apply it in that particular work that you are doing. Right. And even you can even help your colleagues because you have more knowledge about that topic. Right. And if you get if you invest in your personal development or personal growth, you tend to have more understanding about yourself. Right. How you think, why you react that way. And even you have the, this critical thinking. Maybe when you the way you responded to a situation, you wouldn't like to respond in that way. So as a human being, when you're learning, you, you just sit and say, maybe, okay, next time I should have taken this step, right? That means you are growing as a human being. You know how to handle the situation much better. So personal development is, I think it's, it's something that we human beings have to live with, right? We need to apply it everywhere in our, every aspect of our lives, both emotionally, financially, and physically. So that's what I can say for now. So back to you, Clem. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, I like uh, like your pinpoint the taking risk. Yeah, in life we have to take risk. Everything is about risk. Even being alive itself is risking. <laughs> Everything is risky, and uh, you should get out of your comfort zone and risk. Yeah, you may not know. Whatever you're going to risk to do, maybe that is what you all needed just to change your life, to transform your life. So, yes, I go for that. Uh, take a risk. It's a must. Yeah. So, next we go to uh, May Day. Welcome and uh, share with us your insights about this. Yes. Um, a lot of things are already said, but, of course, um, there's so much things to say about this thing i like what sherry added as well that it affects all aspects of your life because it is affecting every aspect of your life whether you're thinking about it or not whether you know about it or not so i'm just gonna read some some things that i read um a while ago because it's really really good so i'm reading from my phone um it says personal growth can help in growing emotionally and mentally and becoming more a more considerate, loving, and positive person. It can also help you see your mistakes and negative habits and lead you to correcting and changing them. So there are many techniques that we could use for personal growth. It says there we, we already have mentioned a lot of things too about that. So it's, it's basically being aware of who you are, how you react, how your actions are, and you know it's it's a process it's always a process it's an everyday process no one is perfect no one among us is perfect but then if we at least pause 
every now and then and try to reflect on whatever it is that we've been doing. Probably do that at the end of the day. Oh, how was my day? How how am I doing? Um, how did I react it? Or how did I treat people or something like that? Then probably it would help us. And it would be really a real better world for everyone else too. It's not just for us because it affects just like what everyone already have mentioned. It affects the relationships. And that's great. It affects it in a positive way, hopefully in a positive way. If we mind um, how we are um, doing, not just with our, within our own, but how we're treating other people as well would be a reflection of whatever it is inside of us. So I think that's that's a huge thing for me when I was um, reflecting on the thing, when reasons why should you do that? Why should you invest on your personal growth? Because, you know, this is us, you know? Um, and just like what, what others shared, um, you, you just learn from childhood to adulthood. You never stop learning, you know? Um, sometimes it might be long, long-term learning. Sometimes it's a short-term learning, but you still learn. And whether or not you like reading, if you say, oh, but I don't like reading so many books, that's not a problem. Then listen to something. You could listen to that too, because there's so so much podcasts and there's so much um, knowledge in those things. So if you don't like reading, you could listen to something. And that would be great as well. It's really up to you. You need to have that decision to be stepping forward, to be a better version of yourselves. And yeah, that's it, basically. Thanks so much for having us, Clem, and thank you for organizing this and for hosting this night. Okay, thank you very much for sharing. Yeah, just to add on, uh, you just mentioned uh, you should reflect. Yes, I agree with that. Uh, for in personal growth, you should be able to reflect uh, your life and see what uh, changes you need so that you can stay on track. Yeah, so thank you very much. And just to add on that, there's something I feel that um, it's uh, commonly left out uh, when we're um, discussing about uh, growth, personal growth, that is. There is uh, getting our feedback. Uh, it says that um, if you want to know how much you've grown, or let's say, like for example, maybe you have a project or anything that's uh, your 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 maybe setting. Uh, after you do everything, you style everything. It's always good to have another person uh, to review and ask ask that person ah can you monitor can you review and tell me how do you see uh, or, uh, the things that i'm doing or if it's my business or anything yeah so feedbacks helps person uh, to stay on track and also uh, to improve themselves yeah and another thing is a uh, gratitude gratitude you should be grateful for of everything uh you should be grateful and grateful leads to success yeah, because if you're grateful, you will be positive and you will gain uh, much more. So that is all we have today. And I'm going to invite uh, Sherry uh, to give a word of um, bye-bye to the to our viewers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I hope you all have learned something tonight. And as you all know, we've discussed a lot. We've talked about a lot on this topic. So I hope that you are in or you are ready to invest in your personal growth because it's very important in our lives. In that way, you become a better version of yourself, right? And I think we also forgot, forgot about one thing, leadership skills. It helps you to be able to help others, to write. And so when you are able to acquire a lot of skills and knowledge you have this kind of leadership skills that people always look up to you they always look up to you what you have to share with them how um like how to solve problems for instance so thank you very much for watching and as you can all see can you please put the, um, the website yeah all right. We have our websites uh, displayed on the screen, so you can choose to register with any one of us. 
and we'll send you more information about what we do on this online space. Thank you very much for watching and back to you, Clem. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hope uh, whatever we have said here is going to uh, inspire you and motivate you. Yeah, until next time, uh, next weekend, that is our Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we are going to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. 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 bye.